What's up you guys, Lazy Benny here and today I'm going to make a quick video tutorial showing you guys uh, how to record a gameplay or your screen with XSplit. So not streaming it, this is purely a tutorial showing you guys kind of what settings you should use when you want to record the gameplay locally on your hard drive to later post on the internet for example or on YouTube or stuff like that. So um, there's a few advantages to XSplit and why you would want to use XSplit for uh, just recording and not streaming. Uh, first off, you can set up your scene beforehand, so uh, stuff like adding a video camera, for example, if you have a webcam, I can add mine, for example, here. It might be a little dark, uh, but there you go. You can add your camera, set up your scene and all that kind of stuff. Uh, there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube showing you exactly how to do that and all the stuff you can do with that. Um, but that's not the purpose of this video. But that's one advantage. And the second one is that it uh, encodes while you're recording. So, uh, well, it actually doesn't encode while you're recording, but it records at a certain uh, quality. Or uh, that's it's kind of difficult how, how to explain it. But uh, the, the main uh, reason why that's good is because it gives you much lower uh, file size at the end uh, comparing to other software. Uh, out there, especially stuff like Fraps, DX Story, or Play Claw. If you used that before, you might have noticed that you get huge, huge file size, especially when it comes to recording, um, you know, a few hours of gameplay. Uh, I've tried recording a few hours with DX Story, for example, and you end up with files that are hundreds of gigabytes in size, which are kind of uh, annoying, especially when you have a slow hard drive. So, um, with XBit, I recorded a 45 minute game, and that was about 800 megabytes. So, definitely really good and really easy to upload uh, later on. So, you know, that's the second advantage. Uh, so let me uh, show you guys. Let's go into the broadcast menu here and right click. Make sure to right click on local recording. Then you'll have these little settings that pop up. Uh, here you can set the codecs. You want to set leave that to H.264. Uh, the bit rate that I want to kind of go over because depending on um, what game you're playing and what resolution you're playing that game at this kind of uh, can uh, change so the lower the resolution the lower you can go with the bit rate and depending on the video game if you have a video game that has very little movement you can set the lower than video games with a lot of movement so let me just give you guys an example real quick if you're gonna play stuff with a lot of movement which is uh, shooters for example Call of Duty Need for Speed racing games as well have a lot of stuff happening everything on the screen is changing all the time um, so a lot of movement in total you wanna set this probably a little higher at around 8000 uh, kilobits per second uh, and if you're uh, recording stuff that has less movement overall stuff like a strategy game you usually have that uh, League of Legends or <laughs> chess if that's an example I don't know why you'd wanna record that uh, but I'm sure some people would. Uh, you can set that way lower, uh, 5,000 or 6,000. Um, so, yeah, these you can use these same exact numbers. Uh, if you have a 10, if you record in 1080p personally, uh, that's the resolution from 1920 by 1080 in pixels. So, if you have a screen of that size or of that resolution and you record in that same resolution, you can go ahead and use uh, kind of the same numbers I'm using. Um, but if you have a lower resolution and if you play your game at let's say 1280 by uh, 720 so it's 720p you can set these uh, lower so for example you can set them 4000 for stuff like low movement and then uh, 6000 or 7000 for stuff with a high movement so uh, the lower the resolution the lower you can set this as well but I recommend uh, you just experiment with this until you like you know what you guys see in the final video file if you like the quality then you can just use that uh, and if you if you think it's not good enough you can always increase the bitrate so uh, that's really to experiment with but uh, that's personally the uh, numbers I'm using so um, there you go stuff for screen recording like I'm doing right now where you make a tutorial of your screen you can set this really really low like 2000 without a problem because nothing is changing right now the only thing is moving is the only thing that's moving on my screen is my mouse so um, that's very very little and uh, very barely nothing is actually moving so uh, that's that the mode you can leave it to VBR uh, then you have a few settings here I recommend having the quality to just the max I don't know really why they even uh, have that as an option um, 
here you can set the keyframe interval you can leave it to default I've left the encoder to very fast and if you scroll over them you can see exactly uh, what you can use them for so slow is very high compression very high CPU usage uh, don't try with monster CPU uh, which I guess they just mean really good computer or something um, and medium don't try without second gen i7 stuff like that so I personally leave it to very fast because uh, it uh, won't slow down my game whatsoever it pretty much keeps it just as performant I get the same amount of frame rate uh, and stuff like that so um, and it works just fine for me really that's again something you should experiment with so um, yep uh, depending on what kind of computer you have I left this to the VBV here uh, changes if you change the uh, the bit rate right here and you go back into it you'll notice that this has changed as well so that doesn't matter whichever you change here whichever of the options you change it doesn't matter I just leave it as it is and in the video size uh, you can set it to default state resolution which will pretty much keep the video uh, resolution the same resolution as uh, what you're playing in or the resolution of your screen or you can set it to lower so in my case I got a resolution of 2560 by 1440 which is relatively high um, so I just left it to that resolution for my recordings. I quite like that. So, uh, that's for that the audio encoding. I personally have it on AAC, uh, HQ, which obviously is for high quality. And if you have a good mic, you can set the high bit rate as well. So this kind of depends, uh, what, uh, microphone you have. You can use AAC or speaks is also quite good. Um, but for people that use blue snowballs or, uh, Blue Yetis, or I know those are quite popular microphones. Uh, these are quite high quality microphones, so you can uh, easily go ahead and use the ACC high quality and then, you know, set a high bit rate uh, for really the best audio um, performance or, or quality. So once again, you might have noticed that in all these settings, I keep on bumping them up or uh, putting them way higher than they're set by default. And uh, that's really because we're setting up XSplit to record uh, your screen and re record video and not for streaming because when it comes to streaming uh, you usually have to set this way lower simply because otherwise your internet connection won't be able to handle it um, especially when it comes to the video bit rate so you're gonna have to set that way lower when you're streaming usually depending on what kind of connection you have uh, but you know uh, when you're recording video you can set all these things way higher I've personally set default tag to mp4 uh, and you can also decide if you want to split these files at a certain, um, you know, a certain mm. size. So once your file size is eight megabytes, it's going to split it. But I personally have not, not set that on. I don't think that's really useful. So um, that's pretty much all the settings you might want to use. And again, you uh, might want to experiment, especially with the bit rate, to see what kind of uh, quality you get out of that. Uh, but personally, I think I get a quite nice quality. And obviously, if you go in your XSplit recordings, you can see. Uh, but right here, this is kind of um, my latest video. I'm not going to put the sound on. Uh, let me mute that real quick. Uh, my latest video on uh, my gaming channel here. Um, this is 40, I think, 40, 41 minutes long. And that's only about 800 megabytes. And in my opinion, the quality is quite decent. So... Uh, it's not the best quality, but uh, it's good for uh, people that don't have always that good of internet connection and it takes a very long time to upload videos. You don't want to make the file size too big because otherwise it takes a really long time. So uh, that's kind of uh, the settings I use to record videos with XSplit and I thought it was uh, a good story because a lot of people actually uh, don't know that XSplit is really good for recording uh, video, not only for streaming. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll thank you a lot for watching and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.